What's up guys? Today I'm going to be upcycling this little vintage Nike crew neck into this corset. I thrifted this crew neck forever ago. It's just too small for me, but I love the print on it. So we're gonna make it into that cute little corset. And I'm just gonna give you guys like a full walkthrough, step by step on how I do my corsets because every time I post a TikTok, I'm wearing a corset. That's what everyone wants to know. But before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I will be selling this corset live on Whatnot on July 6th. If you're not familiar with Whatnot, it's a really cool online live marketplace where you can bid on all of your favorite items. I love that it's live because it's a lot more interactive than normal bidding and you can interact with all people who have the same interests as you. If you want more in-depth walkthrough of how the bidding works, you can go to my last video because I actually bought a ton of items on Whatnot to rework. So you can see that the whole live bidding process I think it's super fun. I've always loved bidding on stuff, love bidding wars, love all of it. So yeah, I'm gonna be having a ton of items live on my whatnot on July 6th. So make sure to mark your calendars. I'm gonna be listing a ton of stuff that you've seen on TikTok, stuff that you haven't ever seen before. Just a whole lot of one of a kind reworked stuff made by yours truly. So I hope to see you guys there. And now let's get started. So as with most reworking, you have to start by cutting the item up. So when you do this, you wanna be really careful and always cut along the seams so you have the most fabric left. And I'm also gonna be really careful around the tag because I think I wanna repurpose this and sew it back onto the corset. So you wanna be mindful of things like that before you just start going crazy and cutting stuff up that you can't fix. So I'm just gonna start by cutting the sleeves off of this. And then the next cut I'm going to make once the sleeves are off are these little shoulder seams. I'm actually going to cut down the back because I don't have side seams on this and that'll just give me more of a big piece of fabric instead of two smaller pieces of fabric. Okay, I literally almost went so fast that I cut off the tag, but I didn't cut off the tag. But that's why I got to be careful. I swear I've cut off so many tags that I've worn to keep. So now you're just gonna lay down your pattern pieces and cut around them. I like to pin my pattern pieces to my fabric and then cut around them with electric scissors. And by the way, these and all of my other sewing supplies are linked in the description in my Amazon storefront. And once you cut out all your main pieces, you're gonna cut the same pieces out of your lining fabric. So you're just gonna start by sewing all of the front panels together and all of the lining panels together. Um, this will just vary depending on what pattern you're using, but um, I just sew all the seams together with a straight stitch and then press open all of my seams. This just helps the corset lay a lot flatter and look much nicer. Now you're gonna put your lining piece and main piece right sides together and sew around the top. During this step, you would also add straps if you're doing normal straps, but I'm doing bows, so I'm not doing that until the end. I put some little cuts all around the curves just so it lays nicer and then turn it right side out. And now it's time to iron everything down so it's nice and flat so we can top stitch. And for top stitching, I use an eighth of an inch seam allowance and you wanna go really slow and be really precise with this because it can kind of make or break whatever project you're doing, in my opinion. So try to make it look as neat as possible. And make sure not to stitch around the bottom because we're leaving that open so we can put all of our boning in. So to do that, we start by making channels. You can really put them wherever you want. Um, I like to use tape so I don't have to draw on my corset because I'm always really worried about getting pencil marks out. So I use that to help me make straight lines. And then once I get my main lines down, I go back over and make like little quarter inch channels because that's how wide my boning is. Speaking of boning, I forgot to get boning. So I'm using zip ties cause they're a pretty good substitute for plastic boning. And you really wanna make sure to file the sharp edges down of whatever boning you're using. And then I put it in and see how long I need it to be. And then I take it back out and make it like a half an inch shorter because we're gonna have to sew bias tape at the end and you don't wanna break a needle on plastic. And you can't really see, but I'm also filing down the other side of the boning. And the reason you file it down is so it doesn't poke through the fabric because you definitely don't want that to happen after putting all this work in. So now to cover up that bottom edge, we're gonna use some bias tape and if you want to know how to make your own bias tape, I actually show you how in the, my one shoulder top video, but this time I'm just using store-bought bias tape and you just want to make sure to catch both edges. So be really careful while you're doing this step. 
And the next step is to put your eyelets in. So I'm using this little tool. I don't know what it's called, but I have it linked on my storefront as well. And it just saves so much time not having to measure out the distance between each eyelet. And then I'm also putting eyelets on the little straps. That's how I'm gonna put the bows that I wanna use through the corset. And then I'm using an awl to poke through all of those holes because I don't have a leather punch, but I am ordering one soon because that was kind of a pain. And now it's time to actually put the eyelets in. I recommend getting some sort of eyelet tool because I hate doing it with a hammer. So these are both linked on my Amazon storefront, but you can definitely still do them by hand. You just need to buy one of the little setting tools from any craft store. So now that I have all of my eyelets in, I'm just pinning the corset to my dress form because this is the easiest way for me to put the bows in, but you definitely don't have to do this. You can just lay it on a table. I just like doing this so I can see the exact length I need all of the ribbons to be, and then I just start lacing them through all the holes. You wanna make sure to definitely cut enough ribbon um, so it's easy for you to put the corset on and off, especially on the back ribbons. And then whenever you cut ribbon, you wanna do it diagonally so it doesn't fray. Here's how it looks with all of the bows in. I really love how this turned out and I think the bows just add a cute little flair. Well, that's it. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all that and let me know what video you wanna see next. Also make sure you're following my other channels, TikTok, IG Reels, I post a ton of tutorials on there. And remember, I am auctioning this corset off on my whatnot July 6th, so I hope to see you there and follow my Instagram for updates on that. So I'll see you guys later.